Now we're going to take a look at how we can add, uh, use some variables uh, and some styling uh, to add a little more uh, pizzazz to the user interface for our uh, website. Uh, so remember if we get into state details, uh, this is where we actually view the details um, of, the, of the state record um, and here we can edit and we can delete. Uh, let's get into the code behind. Right now our delete uh, is a pretty simple uh, when the item is deleted, uh, then we just put a response back, uh, response right, uh, the record has been deleted from the database. Um, we're going to try to uh, add a little more um, uh, formatting here just to make this a uh, little easier for the users to use. First thing we want to do is declare a variable. So let's do uh, declare the variable for uh, get the deleted state. So let's call it del state. That just be our variable name. Uh, capture this as a string. Uh, and set it equal to e.values. And write it to a string. So I declared the variable and now I'm populating it with the state name and I'm getting the state name uh, if I go back here to the code um, the data bound field right here so when we delete uh, this is the the thing that I want to put in the variable to give back to the user so we're going to add that uh, and now I'm going to just add a little fancier response right statements I'm going to use a little bit of CSS. Uh, use a class uh, in CSS. Uh, we'll call that class deleted states highlight. We'll close the span tag. So what we would expect to happen now is when an item is deleted, uh, we're going to grab the name of the state that we deleted and put it in the variable delete state. Uh, and then we're going to spit this message out onto the screen. The record uh, span is, remember this from CSS, it's how we can um, modify the formatting of a small piece of text. We're going to use the class deleted state highlight. Uh, and then we're going to give the variable uh, and then close up the span uh, and then has been deleted from the database. Uh, so let's We'll let that appear on the screen and then um, instead of just having it hang there, let's have it uh, uh, move off to another page after a few seconds. So we can do a response dot add header refresh and let's leave it there for three seconds. and let's send it back to states.aspx. Alright, so we we have uh, started using a class, so we need to create a style sheet uh, to, to define the formatting for that class, so let's go up and add a new item. Uh, when we add a new item, we'll scroll down to style sheet. Uh, and I'm 
going to rename this to style CSS. It opens with the body. Uh, let's declare the class and then send some formatting for the class. Make the text green. Set font style to italic. Make it bold. And we'll underline it. Okay, so we've set the CSS file. In the code behind, we're using this class. Uh, the last thing we need to do is set uh, the states.details uh, because this is the page that's actually displaying. So we need to come up here to the head and make sure that we link the style sheet into it. And let's try this in the browser to see what it looks like. So Michigan, it's grabbing it, making it green, um, italic, underlined, and then after three seconds, uh, it's taking us back to the page. So our code behind is working correctly. We're using that uh, CSS uh, class. Uh, called deleted state highlight uh, and we have linked it uh, into our state's details uh, so just a way to add a little more uh, a little more flair uh, and a little more user friendliness to the uh, interface here